Clinical style is collaborative, empathic, and goal-oriented. It's really important to me to really work with the children and parents that I work with, and really, we work together as a team. And so like, when you come to see me, I'll be very empathic and I'll see you and your child as a whole person. So I like to know about you and I like to know about what you're going through. And it's really important that we work together to figure out what are we really here for? What are we gonna work on? Um, and so I really focus a lot on, well, what's the treatment that works with anxiety especially? And so, I really want to make sure that you're getting what you need in the therapy process. So I'd like to talk about how the evidence-based evidence -based practices, but with children, I'm really playful and creative and I wanna make sure they're comfortable and feel that they can be open in the sessions as well. So as a anxiety specialist, I really enjoy working with children and teens and families because I feel like anxiety is very common in its, its human nature, um, but at the same time, it's something that I feel like is misunderstood or not as understood. And so I feel like I can shed a light on what anxiety is, what is going on, and how we can really move to overcome it. Um, and I really enjoy working with children as well because I feel like you know it's really important to give tools and for kids to learn these as they grow older. And I feel like if they can learn them when they're young, then they'll have the tools and the skills necessary as they, you know, as they move forward in their life. And so that's really important. And I think um, it's also something that is my specialty. And so I've had a lot of training in working with children. And I think it does take a certain level of playfulness, but also uh, helping them face their fears as well um, and helping them feel just safe. So recently um, I've been working with a child who has a lot of worry and so with worries I like to really get down to like what are the worries and how can we decatastrophize them and so this time I know we always talk about worries but this time I kind of put a spin on it and we used little toys to connect okay this worry becomes this worry and I would connect the little toys together and then we would work on okay what are the ways we can disconnect the worries from each other and so it seems like she really understood that concept a lot and I like to, but that's kind of an example of how I like to uh, be creative in our sessions together and we were able to connect the worries with other emotions as well and there was just a, was a lot of really good information in that moment.